You're watching Where You Live. I'm Mary Ruth Harris. Joining me now is Sean Koopman. We are here in front of the Maritime Heritage Center in Campbell River to talk about the upcoming BC Shakeout. What can you tell us about it? So in Campbell River, we teach people that work, live and play in the inundation zone underneath the dam that if there is shaking strong enough to knock them to their feet, assume that the Strathcona Dam may fail and inundate a large portion of Campbell River with 16 to 4 meters of water depending on the location. So after you duck cover and hold, wait for 60 seconds after the shaking stops and evacuate out of that area. All right, and so where are people evacuating to? Well, that's part of their own personal preparedness plan. So if they work within the inundation area, I would suggest part of their family plan, everybody agrees to meet up at home. If they live in the inundation area and it does flood, that will probably render their home unlivable for a long period of time. So have plans to shelter in place with a friend or family member who lives outside of the inundation zone. Can you describe the inundation zone to us so we know what the boundaries are for? We extend from basically Robert Ulster Park to the hill below City Hall, hill below Dogwood, all of the Discovery Shopping Centre, all of the spit till about a kilometre north of the Highway 19A bridge. Okay and on the actual BC Shakeout Day what can the general public do to participate? So what we're asking people that work live and play in the inundation zone to participate in is do the traditional drop cover hold on but then evacuate outside of that inundation zone we will have five checkpoints set up that are staffed through with our emergency social services and emergency communication team volunteers at the Maritime Heritage Center, City Hall, at Cole Phoenix School on Dogwood Woodburn and Spring Road and 9th and Ironwood. These checkpoints are set up in a safe spot outside of the inundation zone where our volunteers can set up a tent away from traffic and have a large open space and the idea is that if I am Bob and I work at Superstore I get to my nearest checkpoint right here I check in the volunteers tell me okay Bob you reached here in 45 minutes the water would have reached your area in an hour you made it out in enough time now where are you gonna go did you evacuate with emergency supplies what if you twisted your ankle what if you had to help somebody that was hurt what if there was a power line down over your closest point of evacuation and all those factors to get people thinking in where is the geographical area of the inundation zone and how quickly do they need to get out. Okay and where can people find more information? People can find more information on the Strathcona Emergency Program Facebook page, the Strathcona Regional District website, the City of Campbell River website or contact me directly 250-830-6702. All right, Sean, thank you so much. That's a lot of information, and but it's really crucial information. So thank you so much for joining us today and sharing that with us. Yeah, thank you. And I just want to take a moment to also thank BC Hydro. They're very key stakeholders and supportive in our emergency pl uh, planning initiatives here in Campbell River. All right, thanks so much. All right, you are watching Where You Live. We are now headed to the Comox Valley to go to the Child Development Association. They are getting ready for another telethon. It's going to be spectacular. Stay tuned for that.